All right, this is my unboxing video of the Skywatcher AZ GTI mount. This is an alt azimuth mount. However, I plan on using it as an EQ mount, um, as many others have done, by using a, a wedge type base along with an update to the uh, Skywatcher software. <clears throat> um, little cord here, not sure what that goes to, I'll figure that out. Initial impressions here is that the unit is heavy and well packaged. Uh, it's got a metal metal frame, spirit level at the very top, plastic housing, looks like the battery pack is in here, looks like it takes uh, eight AA batteries, Simple on-off switch. It's got a snap input. Not sure what that is. Uh, a power input for some sort of a, uh, a power connection. Also a hand controller. I have a spare hand controller, so I might uh, might try that. <clears throat> uh, clutch mechanism. Pretty straightforward. Skywatcher. AZ GTI. To go with this kit, I'm going to need um, a few other items, starting with this uh, dovetail camera um, head adapter. So that should work pretty well right in here. This pretty nice piece of uh, machined aluminum, uh, anodized. Generally, I'm pretty impressed with the overall quality of this uh, build so far. Something like that. I'll have to figure out the exact setup. The piece that makes this work as an EQ mount is this. I have no experience with uh, this particular setup. But there's a few videos online that I've watched, and I think I can figure it out. Little Allen key tool, I'm not sure what I'll need that for just yet. And then this is the, uh, it's called the Star Adventure Latitude EQ Base. Um, initial impressions are that this is a pretty heavy, um, again, metal uh, piece. Actually, pretty impressed with the quality of this. This seems uh, this seems very nice. Uh, nice scale. It doesn't look flimsy or cheap. It actually looks it actually looks very very high quality. For I think this was around fifty dollars on Amazon. So it comes with a camera adapter. Um, I'll have to figure out the orientation to get that right. Obviously, this is yeah. So this would appear that this sort of goes together. Let's roughly, roughly throw it in here just to kind of show, but something not unlike that. I think I might have it the wrong way. I think it's yeah, that, that might be right. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at that. <clears throat> So we got that, and then finally, as I move over all the stuff that I did, one final piece of the rig will be the, the balance. So the counterbalance, uh, again, pretty high uh, quality looking piece of hardware and the counter balance itself looks like it's uh, well made and it doesn't look cheap at all. So overall my impressions of this setup is that this is a going to be a pretty pretty high quality piece of equipment. Um, the reviews on it are pretty good. There's 
some people have some issues, but nothing that I can't overcome. Uh, next up will be to upload the latest firmware to allow for the EQ controls. And then hopefully the sky is clear, which currently, as you would expect, with any new piece of uh, astronomy equipment, uh, the weather conditions are overcast. But yeah, that's my that's my uh, opening the box video.